Hey, this is Captain Duffy Bonsai. Quick video about 3-axis gimbals. I did pick one up recently. This was used locally. It is the Wyun Zayun Crane M, their mobile version. Pretty cheap, specially used. So I'm looking forward to learning these things, trying to improve some of my video quality. But it is relatively small for a gimbal. And then on here I have the Canon EOS M50 with the 11 to 22 millimeter lens. So it's a relatively large lens in their EOS M mount, but so far so good. It seems to work fine from a payload standpoint. There are a few quirks. So here is the strap lug on the camera in the bottom motor. You can see when you try to go inverted, it catches potentially, but if you do it just right, it'll go over and then you can easily invert at that point and use it like that. Other things, that's really the biggest issue, but let me see if I can get it. <laughs> Some, yeah, I'm getting, getting used to this stuff, but okay, uh, there we go. So the other issue, it's not really an issue, it's just very close, is this back viewfinder rubber is very close to the back motor. And it goes like that, but it doesn't touch, so that's good. I have used my microphone on top with the screen out. It works just fine like that with a full selfie mode. So I would potentially be using that in the future. It is just a lot of equipment. I kind of struggle always with bringing a lot of equipment. That's why I went with the smallest gimbal that I could find. Hopefully I'll be motivated to use this in the future quite a bit. but. Working pretty well. Let me turn it on. There we go. So nice and smooth. The motors seem fun. No issues, really. I should also mention this tripod. It does, this specific gimbal doesn't come with a tripod. Let me turn it off real quick. Okay, so this tripod is very similar to my Nikon Key Mission tripod. It's probably from the same actual manufacturer, but the difference is it doesn't have any type of ball head. And that's what I wanted in this case, because there is a tripod socket on the crane. And then I just want a straight connection to this little tripod. It's nice solid metal, it works well. And I can just leave it on this gimbal. It's a B stable cam branded, but so far so good with that. See, I can hold it just by that and it works, stays solid. One of the most important things with gimbals is making sure that it's balanced. In this case, the M50 does balance nicely on this gimbal. See, I can put it in any direction and it stays where I put it. No issues, go vertical, go down to the point where Actually, that's another little sizing issue. Depending on the lens, I use the 22 as well, and it works better with this gimbal setup. But you can see the 11 to 22, you can't do anything like that. Not that you would really want to, but that is something to consider. The main reason I'm making this video is to show that the M50 does balance on the Crane M. You can see it works pretty well. And let me go into inverted. So once you use both hands to go inverted, it has no issues. So I can easily do what I need to do with that. And I think I'll probably be using this setup in inverted mode quite a bit. So it's good that I can get there with a little bit of extra effort, the two hands. So I hope you found this interesting. I'm trying to improve my video stuff and learn about all of this side of things and there's a lot to it especially coming from photography starting off years and years ago all the video stuff is very interesting and that's why i've been trying to improve the youtube videos and try to learn about all of the video side of things so anyways hope you enjoyed this video if you did please consider subscribing it helps me out a lot likes and shares about a lot as well Thanks again.